Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a store where you can sell items for money in Minecraft Java Edition 1.17 and upwards. We will be using my data pack for this video, so if you want to follow, head over to the description and download the data pack. Simply drag it into the data pack section when creating a world to install it. If you want to install it into an existing world there are plenty of videos showing you how to do it. I'll link one in the description. Anyway, let's move on into the tutorial. After you have the data pack installed and ready, simply do slash, trigger, st, underscore, and then place shop. Make sure it's exactly spelled like on screen to ensure everything works correctly. The command is also in the description if you want to copy it. To set the item you want the player to be able to sell at this store, simply give the armor stand that item by right clicking on it. Now, press the plus or minus buttons that should have appeared in the chat. They will either increase or decrease the value of the item. For example if you set it to 20, each item sold at this store will give 20 money. Make sure this armor stand is out of reach for the player, because otherwise they might be able to sabotage the store by changing the armor stand's item. After your armor stand is ready to go, give yourself a command block by doing slash, give, at sign, s, and then command underscore block. Place the block down near the armor stand and make sure there is a way to power the block using redstone. This can be done easily by a button or a pressure plate in some redstone dust. When the command block is powered, the nearest player to the block will be the one to undergo the transaction. To finish the store, go into the command block and write the command, function, store, colon, store, and that's it. Now all you have to do is hold the item the store is designed to sell and activate the command block. Your item should just disappear and you'll get a confirmation in chat. But that's everything for today. The commands are, as usual, in the description below. Consider subscribing if you like the video and I'll see you later.